This is brand new. It's from the veterans advocacy group Vote Vets, which always makes really good ads and really good content. But watch this. Watch this one. It is totally worth seeing. I grew up in uh, Zakwa City. After graduating from nursing school, uh, then I worked with the uh, U.S. Special Forces. So we worked with the U.S. Forces for six years, shoulder to shoulder, every single day. As a helicopter pilot, the interpreters were there on the ground with U.S. infantry. It was local interpreters on the ground making sure that uh, the LZ was safe for us to come in. They were like brothers in arms. They were our comrades. They were in the fighting positions with us. They faced the same dangers. In fact, they faced even greater dangers because even as they were helping us, their families were there. Their families could be targeted. That's why they promised us. We promise you we're not going to leave you behind. We were scared until we we left Turkey, and then we know we are safe. Operation Iraqi Freedom. When U.S. decide to go back to Iraq again, I spent two years training National Guards in Louisiana and also uh, New Jersey. Then I deployed to uh, Kurdistan again, Erbil, U.S. consulate. I spent another four years over there. Now I'm working with the senator. You know, she served my country during the uh, Iraq war. You're not going to find a more patriotic American than Abdullah and someone who's literally put his life on the line for this country even before he became a citizen. With the U.S. pullout from Afghanistan, we are about to leave literally thousands of interpreters behind, and that puts a target on their backs and on their families. Many of these interpreters and observers carried our wounded troops off that battlefield, and as someone who has carried off a battlefield myself, I can tell you that the phrase that we do not leave a fallen comrade behind is indelibly marked on my psyche. For those guys, it's been 20 years, coalition has been in Afghanistan, and you woke up in the morning, every, everything is gone. They don't know what to do right now, honestly. But we need to bring them all out of Afghanistan. They believe truly in our cause and in protecting our troops, uh, and now we owe them. I know exactly how they feel. I've been uh, in the same situation in Iraq. We need to take them too. We need to take them, too. Uh, it's an ad, a new ad from Vote Vets, featuring Iraq veteran and Illinois Democratic U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth. As I mentioned before the break, there's a bill to help these Afghan translators, sponsored by Congressman and Army veteran Jason Crow, just passed the House today with hugely overwhelming support. Now that bill heads to the Senate, veterans like Senator Tammy Duckworth say they're ready to take up the cause in the Senate. Joining us now is Illinois Democratic Senator, Iraq War veteran Tammy Duckworth. Senator Duckworth, it's a real pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Good to be on. Thank you for shining a light on this, Rachel. It's so critically important. Will the legislation that's now headed to the Senate, um, which uh, Congressman Jason Crow championed in the House, uh, will that make a difference? It will increase the number of visas. It'll speed up the, the way in which they're processed. Uh, will it pass and will it make a difference in time? It will pass. I don't know if it will make a difference in time, because we have almost no time left. We are due to be completely out of Afghanistan by September. Um, and let me tell you what happened with uh, the Iraqi translators that Abdullah, my, uh, my, my, my staffer, was part of. In fact, President Clinton sent aircraft into Turkey and told those translators, get across the river. Get across the river, run away from Saddam. If you can get to Turkey, we're going to fly you here. And we, we, they, he actually flew them to Guam, and they, where they were there for three months while we figured out the visa process. We may end up having to do that, and I would support President Biden if he chose to do that. We're going to do everything we can to pass this bill, but we can't leave these guys behind. We have to take them, too. Senator, the Wall Street Journal broke an exclusive story tonight. They said, I'll just read you the lead, the U.S. military mm -hmm. is preparing to house as many as 35,000 Afghan interpreters and their families at two American bases in Kuwait and Qatar. Plans are underway to build temporary housing and other facilities at those U.S. Army bases. Uh, they'd be designed to house the interpreters and their families for at least 18 months. Does that plan mm -hmm. sound right to you? Is that the sort of thing that you think is the right approach? 
Yes, I do think that is exactly the kind of thing that has to be done. Uh, we are leaving Afghanistan so quickly that we've not had a chance for the State Department to catch up processing visas. Um, and so this is what we need to do. We have to physically get them and their families out of Afghanistan because they will be hunted down and retaliated against by the Taliban. What happened in Iraq is a great example of what could happen if we don't do right by these folks. In Iraq, according to Abdullah, what you didn't see in that ad, what he left out was the fact that for months, they were in the no man's land between Iraq and Turkey while Saddam hunted them down. And he said, Tammy, we starved in the mountains and every newborn child died. Every old person died. Oh, and it wasn't until God. Americans started dropping MREs down to us that we were able to survive. And then President Clinton sent those aircraft and airlifted us out. So we can't, you know, I want to go straight to the airlift them out of there. We, and, and by the way, America's word is on the line here. How are we ever going to go into any other country in the future? Should there be a future conflict and say to the folks there, help us, work with us, work with Americans, we'll take care of you. And they're going to turn around and say, but you didn't take care of, the, the, of your Afghan translators. You know, so this is, this is about keeping our word to a group of people who upheld American values and bled, and some of them died for America, even before they become Americans. We have to take them, too. Illinois U.S. Senator, U.S. Combat Veteran Tammy Duckworth. Senator, thank you so much uh, for your time tonight. We've been covering the story in pretty intensively pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. I think we will be doing it till the very end. Thank you. Thank you.